Whoo, good morning guys. So I've accidentally put some blue sun cream on this morning, which is really less than ideal. I don't know who invents blue sun cream, but anyway. This morning we are in Nazare Harbour. Got the ultimate tow foil set up right here. Got my Fnatic Skywing Duotone GT race wing on the go. Glenn's flying flying sardine set up with this custom board from Hawaii. It's about 10 foot, it's perfectly clean. Doesn't look like there's many people out. We are going for what I can only say is definitely a champagne foil session at Nazare here in Portugal. It's a lot colder here than it was in Portugal. Ooh. Works beautifully. Oh yeah, just managing the business. Caught in the act on my YouTube channel. Runners coming through. The raw beefs of Portugal foiling here. Oh my god. There's the fist bump. Foilers fist bump. That last wave was nice. So this is pretty much the epicenter of big wave surfing and becoming the epicenter of big wave hydrofoil surfing for sure. Um, we've had such an insane couple of days. Um, I'm on day three of my trip here and this is day three of chronic action as well. So shred is high we're on full shred mode and uh, yeah really gonna try not to get hurt injured or die today the scene out the back of the the toe scene
of buzz after that sesh out there. Pretty amazing, starting to get the hang of the foil a little bit more, going a lot deeper in the wave and using the speed of the foil to sort of, you know, pro project down the line and really start making some progress on the turns and stuff. That said, on that last wave, I just got absolutely pounded. Inside at Nazareth, <coughs> big lumps of white. They'd lost the foil, ripped my vest off, um, and yeah, solid, solid thrashing. So, packing up my foil stuff putting it back in the bag and I am heading back to the UK. But what a week this has been. Got to be out there with the primo top hydrofoiling experiences that I've ever had. Back on the plane, back to London. And now as a bonus, if you're fully vaccinated, you don't even need to get a test before flying back to the UK. It is a lot colder here than it was in Portugal. But the sun is out, it's about four in the afternoon and I am headed directly to the Mouse headquarters to sign my contract for 2022. Right, made it to Mouse HQ right here. Pretty exciting stuff to sign with these guys. <laughs> this is deep inside a London <laughs> office right here. This is the new one, is it? Yeah. Boom, look at this. Intralock. But we dreamt up the partner program yeah. in the Dominican Republic. Yeah. That's the bike now. Ooh. And then that's the universal adapter. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, looks nice. Works beautifully. Duotone branded case. This is for the iPhone 13. Oh yeah, because yeah, yeah, you've yeah. got an iPhone 13. T-shirts are nice. It's feedback's welcome. That is such a good idea. So oh, this is the potential here. Musto, so can we, um, <laughs> can Musto help and do a... That's what he wants to do, he wants to do a collab with Musto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Musto stuff. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's literally the best stuff you can get. It's Got a pen. It's because I'm thinking about a million things. There you go. Nobody checked, right? No, no. He has it in his mouth so much that you forget it's filming. <laughs> You're just thinking he's got it turned off, and then you say something, and then he's got it on film. <laughs> so be careful. <laughs> Shine away. Uh, Here we go, mate. What happens if you if you write like a kid? <laughs> oh yeah. Sorry about the colour, Tom. That is all right, guys. I well, luckily it's going to be covered in a case. So. Okay, so now that we've signed, I got the iPhone 13 oh, Pro screen, screen in the latest interlock case. Time to put this to the test. Oh yeah, just managing the business. 